Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Yonsa's Universe, it's me, Yonsa. This is going to be an All Signs weekly reading. We're starting with Leo. Happy birthday, Leo. Leo season, Leo gang. As you guys know, my birthday is August 8th, uh, Monday, okay? So thank you so much for your love and support. I'm open for personal readings. You can text me or email me <clears throat> to get in contact with me. That information is below. Check out the newest readings I've done. Those links are below as well. More information that you may need is just in the um, description box. If you like this reading, if you like my vibe, if you resonate with me and things like that, you can leave a love donation or you can like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And we're going to start with Leo. All right. Starting with Leo for this week coming up, the week of the 8th, you have the Ace of Pentacles. I know it's a little dark in here. I'm sorry, y'all. You have the Ace of Pentacles. This represents a windfall of abundance, wise counsel, good fortune. Okay, there's an exciting new career opportunity. It's a lucrative time. You could be purchasing a new home, a vehicle, or purchasing things to go around your home um, or for your vehicle. Then we have the sun at the bottom of the deck. This is really beautiful energy. You're in your power, things like that. Um, <clears throat> I feel like, Leo, this is happiness. It's a great time for joy and success, okay? Gratitude to the divine. So be grateful, all right? Be appreciative. Things are going good. And if they're not going good now, they will get better. All right, Virgo. We have the Nine of Wands. You could be fighting against something, fighting for something, hold, really stand in your ground, okay, protect what you love, pr protect what you have created, ask your angels for help, all right, something around your environment could be causing you to need to put your armor on, so, okay, something in regards to maybe not having enough time, not having enough money, really needing to be balanced, so you're trying to fight for these multiple things that you want to do if you want to do multiple things you got to put in the work and the effort to do them all right libra release let go this is the death card all right it represents scorpio so endings that lead to new beginnings is a need to release situations and people there's a spiritual transformation coming up for you we have the chariot reverse yeah so there's really a need to release and move forward okay libra Scorpio, the Eight of Swords, all right? This is somebody, the blindfold, they're able to lift this blindfold up. They have a sword as well. They can use it for the truth, all right? So there's an illusion of entrapment. There's a lack of self-confidence, Libra. So try to find um, your courage and take responsibility over your life, Libra. You have to, because the wheel of fortune is turning. And so whatever you put put out is what you'll receive back. Okay, Scorpio, hold on, did we do, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, we're on Sagittarius, all right, we have the Empress reverse, so Sagittarius, I'm seeing that you might not be feeling like you are loved, but you are. There's going to be renewed hope and faith. You got two majors, the star and the empress, Aquarius and Libra for you, Sagittarius. So when this call, when the empress comes out reverse, it, it makes me feel like you might not be taking as good of care of yourself because you might not be getting care from others. Maybe you want to get care and love from others. And that since you don't have that, it's like, do people really love me? Am I really loved? Yes, you are. You are regardless of, you know, outside people. Find the love within yourself and really be open and vulnerable and telling yourself the truth to have your wish fulfillment, have that love and good positive changes come into your life, okay? There is a light at the end of the tunnel. All right, whatever you've been praying for is coming as well. Capricorn. Five of Cups reverse, great energy. You're coming out of heartache and sadness. And then we have the Eight of Cups. Five of Cups reverse, coming out of sadness. Eight of Cups is moving forward, finding your wish fulfillment. Um, this is a need to move on, seeking more from life than what you're experiencing, okay? All right, Aquarius. 
two of swords reverse finally making a decision seeing things clearly and putting your time and energy into something else something else that serves you seeds are going to be planted do not worry so don't worry there's going to be a time that you need to be patient okay pisces six of swords moving forward no longer being stressed, getting out of your head, no longer in a stressful environment, or no longer putting yourself through mental, emotional, spiritual trauma or stress. The need, I'm sorry, this is the end of challenging times and things are looking up for you. Welcome relief, okay? Find your way into a peaceful place. Then we have renewal, exactly. This is the judgment card. So, making, letting bygones be bygones, um, making peace probably forgiving and forgetting letting go Re this is revealing the past with compassion and forgiveness a time to head in a new direction things like that so you're really heading in a new direction this week all right pisces moving on to aries ten of pentacles you have the whole package aries the family's good, got a new job, or maybe the thing that you needed to buy, you can buy it. Maybe you might be purchasing something this week, but this represents stability. Like, the, it's been a while. It's been a long time coming as well. Financial security for yourself and your family. Honoring your family, traditions, pride in the family, passing on knowledge, legacy, things like that. King of Swords, you could have air in your charter dealing with an air sign, but this is really being intelligent with your money, communicating clearly. You might not be too too emotional during this time. You're receiving wise advice or giving good advice, especially in regard to money and stability or family. Taurus, Three of Pentacles. Okay, so you're being recognized for some projects that you're doing. You're being recognized for the work that you do. You're working with multiple people, so do what you love. There's recognition and reward. Working well with others, and there's um, your reputation as well. As, your reputation is good as well, okay? But maybe you might get bored working with these people. You might get bored at this job. There's something about working with others or working with this person or the type of T like the type of things that you're putting time and effort into, you might feel bored. You're falling, I'm sorry, you're failing to recognize the magical opportunity. You're missing the point of something as well. Okay, what's the point of putting in this time, effort, energy into this person or this relationship or this job, okay? You're, you're, you could be discontent because you're bored or you're lost in your own world. So make sure you wake up, all right? Gemini. Six of Pentacles reverse. You're not feeling so charitable during this time. Maybe you need help. Maybe you need support from others. You don't feel like you're supported. Then we have the Ten of Wands reverse. But that's going. it's going to get better. Release these burdens because maybe you don't want to give. You probably don't have enough to give anyway. It's been hard for you. Things have just not been coming together. And so I feel like even though... It doesn't feel good this week. The chips are going to fall where they fall. And there's going to be no more burdens. No more having to work yourself too hard. Work yourself like a dog. All right. Maybe there are people around you that make you feel like you don't have enough. Or you're not giving enough. And you just decide, well, if, you, if you're going to make me feel like I'm not doing enough, I'm just not going to do anything at all. All right. Who was that? Gemini cancer we have the emperor reverse you feel out of control of a situation okay i feel like you could be i hear somebody is very very angry angry to the point to where it's like somebody wants to get revenge or vengeance or something like that and then we have the ace of wands right here it's because of what somebody said or what somebody did that's making you feel powerless okay so maybe you feel like you your power has been taken away sexually maybe you, there's a man because the emperor represents a man maybe there's a man who's uh, asserting their authority over you and you feel like you have to bow down or subject to this man this could be somebody at work okay also what i'm saying is somebody is like does not like themselves the emperor reverse they don't like themselves and they're acting out and lashing out and trying to make you feel bad about yourself don't let them make you feel bad about yourself okay i'm wondering why the ace of wands is here so for some reason this emperor wants 
an amazing opportunity with you. Be bold, be courageous. Also, what this is saying to me, Cancer, stand up for yourself. We got the Ace of Wands, stand up for yourself against this person. All right? I'm not saying you got to cuss them out or punch them in the face, but like tell them, hey, you can't talk to me like that and really put your boundaries up against this person. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I'm done with the I'm done with that. Um what I do want to see is if there is um I'll I'll do this. I'll do this. I want to see the energy for the week, sorry y'all. All right. Starting with Leo. Okay, Leo, trust. Maybe you want to trust someone. Someone wants you to trust them. Or you're going to have to have trust this week. Virgo, gratitude. Okay, you're going to be very grateful this week. Or just be very grateful and appreciative this week. It'll be make the week a lot better for you. Libra, miracles are happening. So this is really going to bring your spirits up, Libra. So believe in miracles and let them happen. Scorpio. Be spontaneous this week, Scorpio. Do something you haven't done before, okay? Sagittarius, be aware of what's going on and who you're around. Be aware spiritually and energetically and emotionally and mentally. Just be aware. Know what's going on. Govern yourself accordingly. And really um, take a step back to look at the bigger picture. Capricorn, the future, okay? So maybe you're planning for the future, or some things that you planned from the past are happening now. You're in the future of everything that you wanted to happen. It's happening now. Okay? Or some of you are having gifts. Psychic abilities. Um, getting tarot readings. Looking at your birth chart. All those types of spiritual things this week. Aquarius. Friendship. So there's a new friend coming into your life. Or a, a, a friend that is newer. That you know but they're a newer friend, okay? You guys could be really getting to know each other, talking more, laughing more, seeing each other more. Um, there's a friendship that might blossom this week for you, Aquarius. Pisces, be patient this week. Practice patience, especially with yourself, all right? And don't let others rush you this week either, Pisces. Aries, feelings. You're going to be in your feelings this week or somebody's going to tell you they have feelings for you. You might tell someone you have feelings for them or just expressing yourself expressing yourself this week. Okay? Express yourself this week. Let people know how you feel. Um, have those conversations with people this week, Aries. Taurus, be free. Okay? Free spirit. Don't be bound or tied down. Don't be too constrictive or rigid. Let yourself have some fun, okay? Be free this week. Gemini, go with the flow. Don't try to control things. Just go with the flow. That means don't talk too much. Talk just enough, okay? And make sure you really listen. Go with the flow this week, Gemini. Cancer, there's going to be someone or something you need to just accept, all right? You, may, you can't change them. You can't change the situation or accept yourself. This is who you are. And, you know, these people are going to accept, either accept you or not, or vice versa. There's something that you're going to have to accept this week, Cancer. All right. Okay. Give me one card for the singles. This will be a singles read and I will be done. Okay, singles. Temperance, be patient. I got that in y'all last three, the temperance card, okay? Things really need to be sorted out or figured out with the moon card, okay? Really be patient. Take some time. Don't do anything in excess. Also get some rest, singles. Okay, I love y'all. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you so much for your love and support. Thank you for booking personal readings with me. Thank you for your love donations. I really appreciate you guys. Our channel is growing. I want to get to 2K subscribers by the end of September. So let me know what type of readings you like. Let me know um, the type of content you like. Things like that. Let me know... Um, 
you know, should I be uploading or posting more? Let me know how to interact more with you guys as well. You can follow me on TikTok. Get in contact with me with the information below. Book personal readings with me with the information below. Until I see you again, you can check out the readings below in the description box as well. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. Bye.